Hi everybody, this is Michael Campbell with Glossica, and this is our weekly update for November 6th, 2020. If you would like to get one of these Glossica t-shirts, go ahead and send us an email at support at Glossica.com. And I just wanted to remind everybody that if you are interested in learning a foreign language and you just want to get in there, not have to worry about the grammar too much, maybe you already know about how the grammar works, you just want to get in there and start practicing full sentences. Because I know one of my problems was trying to put all the words together in a full sentence with the correct grammar, then I suggest you get on Glossika today and start practicing. You can sign up at the link below or go directly to Glossika.com. And I just wanna give you guys a quick update on our Viva platform, which is a platform where we provide content creators to come on and provide translations and recordings. This week, we, uh, we've been going through a lot of the applications. We have over a thousand of them. And we noticed that a lot of people are coming in from different accents uh, in the Spanish speaking world. So what we've done is we've opened up new actual courses for Spanish to support Rio Platense, um, Chileno, um, Bogotano, uh, Centro Americano, Caribeño. So if you speak one of these other uh, accents from around the Spanish speaking world, uh, we now support that and we suggest that if you are from Argentina, then you sign up for the Rio Platense uh, and so our users actually know that your voice comes from that region and they're learning the, the Argentinian style of Spanish. Now, um, you know, our Viva platform supports 7,000 languages, lots of languages. So if you speak any of those languages, you wanna come on and promote your language, no matter what it is, come on there and uh, take the quick test to get in. And uh, we'll, we're working through all the applications. There's lots of applications still that we're going through, but we will get to you and we will get you signed up on Viva. Okay, the next thing I wanna let you guys know about is um, we've been doing a lot of updates to the Viva platform this week, but besides that, we've been working really hard on stories, a new feature that we're going to launch very soon. So um, we are actually working together with a German company, a German language teaching company, and uh, we're gonna be putting up one of their first stories onto the platform very soon in cooperation with them, and it's a, it's a crime story. And so the, the story progresses in difficulty as you go on. So the first chapter is around the A1 high, A1, uh, A1, sorry, A1 low, A2 high, I'm sorry, did I get, say that backwards? A1 high, A2 low, around that level. But the levels, uh, you know, the chapters go up progressively as you go on. So it's perfect for a lot of learners. If you're already at the A2 level or the B1 level, go ahead and get started in there because very soon you're gonna be up to the B1 level. Um, and then the, the story is actually, uh, you know, it's a crime related story. So there's a lot of interesting dialogue in there and uh, about the, the, the detective who's trying to figure out how, how to solve the crime. And so I think there's a lot of great vocabulary in there and also a lot of great vocabulary about just working with colleagues and, and making phone calls and things like this. So it's a really great story to, to work on your German. And the great thing about it is that since everything is in, in order, it's different than our other training sessions. Um, you get the context of the story from you know the first from the uh, the, the previous sentence to the next sentence and, and onwards. So uh, we're we're building the whole story interface so that it's it's built like there's a progression from uh, going forward. And so the sentences will not be out of order. You can go ahead and read the story uh, just as it were as a story. And then you get all of the same glossica functionality in there. So you can type out the sentences, you can record the sentences, you can practice each one. And, and listen to them many times. And so that's uh, one of the great advantages of putting stories on the Glossica. So the next thing I wanted to let you guys know about is, well, let me say something first in a foreign language. Если вы уже говорите по-русски как уродным языке, and or if you are actually learning Russian as a beginner or an intermediate student, then you will probably be interested in all of the new Russian content that we're putting out uh, and this content includes podcasts, blog posts. Um, and so I'm really excited about those two because, um, for example, the podcast that we've put out already, uh, we interviewed uh, a couple of people that have gone as ambassadors of the Russian language down to Armenia and other countries uh, around the CIS countries. And they have, um, uh, we did this interview to find out their experiences about promoting the Russian language and then if you also go on to our blog, you'll see a lot of articles promoting German and promoting um, English as well. So if you wanna understand like how Russians are looking at how they learn English and then some of the slang used, how that slang is described in the Russian language uh, for Russian speakers, I think it's, I found it actually quite valuable to read through those articles and learn Russian 
from the Russians' point of view and how they look at English, <clears throat> because it kind of gives you an idea of how some of those words are described uh, or used in Russian. And so you can kind of use it both ways, if you're a Russian speaker who wants to learn English or vice versa. And then um, the other thing I'm excited about is that our, our linguist team, of course, we're doing the same work as always. It's just a ton of hours put into Metagraph and, 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 subs uh, and transcriptions and tokens. And uh, so the, the tokenization process is very complicated. We're working on Japanese, we're working on uh, German. Now, the interesting thing about German is that you have those split verb and then the, the verb structure is just crazy all over the sentence. So we're, we're working a lot on how to figure out um, all of those uh, tokens in the sentence. And so it's, it's a really fun project to work on, a very challenging project to work on. But what we found is that in the, in the machine learning or AI, uh, data sets is that they don't always work uh, to the best uh, that we expect them to so we're actually working on trying to build out and and really make those data sets more uh, robust so they can handle almost anything that we want to throw at them so that's what we're working on in the company this week and uh, hope to hear your feedback and comments if you have any questions just go ahead and leave us a message below don't forget to sign up on Viva or Glossica if you're interested in either of those. And look forward to seeing you guys next week.